This segment is originally adapted from a WebMD article on anxiety disorders as well as my own input. There are several types of anxiety disorders including panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, specific phobias, and generalized anxiety disorder. Anxiety is a human emotion that is normal that everyone experiences at times. Many people feel anxious or nervous when faced with a problem at work, before taking a test, or making an important decision. Anxiety disorders, however, are different. They can cause much distress that interferes with a person's ability to lead a normal life. An anxiety disorder is a serious mental illness. For people with anxiety disorders, worry and fear are constant and overwhelming and can be crippling. There are several t recognized types of anxiety disorders, including panic disorder. People with this condition have feelings of terror that strike suddenly and repeatedly with no warning. Other symptoms of a panic attack include sweating, chest pain, palpitations, unusually strong or irregular heartbeats, and a feeling of choking, which may make the person feel like he or she is, on a, is having a heart attack or going crazy. Social Anxiety Disorder Also called social phobia, social anxiety disorder involves overwhelming worry and self-consciousness about everyday social situations. The worry often centers on a fear of being judged by others or behaving in a way that might cause embarrassment or lead to ridicule. Specific Phobias a specific phobia is an intense fear of specific objects or situations, such as planes, snakes, heights, or flying. The level of fear is usually inappropriate to the situation and may cause a person to avoid common, everyday situations. Generalized Anxiety Disorder This disorder may involve excessive, unrealistic worry and tension, either there is little or nothing to provoke the anxiety. Symptoms vary depending on the types of anxiety disorder, but general symptoms include feelings of panic, fear, and uneasiness, problems sleeping, colder sweat, cold, sweaty hands and our feet, shortness of breath, heart palpitations, an inability to stay still and be calm, dry mouth, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, nausea, muscle tension, and dizziness. The exact cause of anxiety disorders is unknown, but anxiety disorders, like other forms of mental illness, are not the result of personal weakness, a character flaw, or poor upbringing. As scientists continue their research on mental illness, it is becoming clear that many of these disorders are caused by a combination of factors including changes in the brain and environmental stress. Like other brain illnesses, anxiety disorders may be caused by problems in the functioning of brain circuits that regulate fear and other emotions. Studies have shown that severe or long-lasting stress can change the way nerve cells within the, these circuits transmit information from one region of the brain to another. Other studies have shown that people with certain anxiety disorders have changes in certain brain structures that control memories linked with strong emotions. In addition, studies have shown that anxiety disorders run in families, which means they can at least partly be inherited from one or both parents, like the risk for heart disease or cancer. Moreover, certain environmental factors, such as trauma or a significant event, may trigger an anxiety disorder in people who have an inherited susceptibility to, to developing the disorder. If you've been following, if you've been regular following my show, you, have all, you may have noticed I have anxiety issues. This one may surprise you, but something I am very afraid of is sitting here on my webcam talking to you. You probably would never know it. I mean, I'm sitting here pouring my soul into the entire world. It's not easy. You might notice that my eyes don't focus on the screen. Because I'm nervous of messing up, I write a script of all the things I want to say so I don't forget, make no sense, or lose focus of what I want to say. I'm known for making mistakes, but I'm usually stuttering or slipping, and most of the time I can fix it with, and roll with it. However, there are times when I have to film segments multiple times to get everything right. I've done a few breathing exercises I do before each segment 
and have a glass of water to lubricate my throat. So you may wonder why I do this then. The mental health topics I talk about aren't properly understood, and it's often they often develop negative and untrue stigmas. As for the news, well, I'm an English journalist major, so it's good practice and the bottom and my point of view helps make the stories interesting and helps the distribution. I've got to reach all kinds of audiences, so taking known stories and adding my input and adding mental health topics really educates my viewers. So while I may be afraid to do that, I feel I have to do it. Plus, I'm sounding a phobia, so it's very cathartic.